Hey people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Joy here with you. I'll be reviewing two fragrances back to back today. First one is gonna be a female fragrance. Second one is gonna be this masterpiece that people have been requesting me to do. Narciso Rodriguez, the EDT. So the guys, you can watch both the videos, but I'm pretty sure the female one, this one, are not everybody's cup of tea because not everybody's interested in female fragrance like as much as I am. But uh, I don't have a full bottle of this, but the fragrance I have, I have a sample of it, thanks to Ifran Bhai from the USB page, courtesy of him. He gave me this awesome sample. It's called Mon Paris. I think uh, Paris basically is this beautiful bottle. It's the EDT version and uh, it's the, from the house of YSL. Uh, I'm still learning how to say the name, but Yves Sa Larhon, 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 YSL, okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being stupid that's all so the sample I have today it's like this comes in little sample I wore like two wearings of it so far today is the third wearing and I tested this in the heat and uh, tested this once in the night time in the summer and today I'm testing it kind of cool night time all right so this fragrance is really really nice it's very pretty fragrance and uh, I'll tell you about it what I got from the sample and uh, the bottle since I don't have it uh, let me show you the picture they put here is the nice little bottle i have seen prettier bottles but anything that has attached to some sort of lace or something that ties you know that looks nice and if you see the advertisement uh, there's this young lady uh, who's very active very beautiful uh, she's hanging out with her buddy uh, most probably uh, her boyfriend or some fling and they are really like kissing they're really at it you know so i've been enjoying that advert for some time and there's like a lot of kissing scene and stuff so i'm like mm, nice so anyway so this fragrance basically uh, if you see it first thing will come to you is like a, a, a lot of uh, action going on right and uh, yes this fragrance actually is pretty flirty and pretty girly and I'll tell you who is it for what does it smell like how long I get from it so far from the sample and is it bottle worthy okay and who is it for all right so it says uh, YSL EDT that's the name of the fragrance pretty pretty nice YSL slick uh, logo I mean the writings and uh, the ingredients are written here in both French and English. So the ingredients here, they say uh, the description of this is a luminous white shipra to get high on love. Okay, all right. So the, the, the main accords dimensions are blackberry, datura, datura, accord, which is a floral, accord, white musk, and patchouli essence, right. And the bottle, there's nothing much to show. It's like uh, this one, right? So I'm wearing it here, okay. Yeah, so I got to the dry down actually after sort of like one hour or so, like the dry down comes. So how this opens is pretty simple. This is definitely will remind you of one of the YSL fragrance that I own. This is the black opium, but this is much lighter, much fruitier and floral. This, however, it can easily be, I see a lot of uh, darkness in this, which actually could easily be uh, pulled off by a man. That's what I really feel. It's sort of like a unisex to me, to my nose, all right? So this one, however, it's a... Uh, very girly and uh, very light, uh, floral, sweet, beautiful fragrance. And uh, first thing you get is like they mentioned blackberry, which is very evident. It's very yummy. It's very, it's, it's almost like a fruit. You can actually sniff the fruit. On the top of that, I also get that strawberry. Okay, so strawberry, uh, sort of like your blackberry, very sexy, very uh, delicious sort of opening. And the moment you spray this, let me spray this once again. Let me show you the opening top note. I love wearing this. This is really, really pretty. Very pretty scent, okay? Yeah, it does. It does. When you smell it, it's it's beautiful blast of the blackberry. The blackberry is very prominent and then uh, side by side there's a little bit of strawberry. So what, what does what it does to you is it's not a gummy bear, like a I'm a gummy bear. No, it's not a gummy bear sort of a blackberry. It's actually a blackberry uh, fruit, you know? So which I sniffed in I think UK once. Uh, I mean I ate, not sniffed. So I do know how this smells. It's very delicious, you know. And blackberry note, I think it's also utilized in Creed Seventus, which is why it really cheered me up. But this is not that man masculine. This one I see uh, the meat would be more to the floral heart to it, you know. Opening is the beautiful fruits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Center, it's a meat. It's a sort of like your peony fl flowers and then the datura, datura flower, but I never sniffed it, so I don't know. But it smells like clean, white, floral heart. And the base you get a little bit of musk and <clears throat> excuse me not much else you know like there's no woodiness or anything it's a very nice non-powdery which is a something that you should note because i hate powdery scents i even like dior poison original poison mm -mm. 
So for me, uh, powdery scents are not, they have to be really, really well done and not headache inducing. And there's no dosage of heavy rose in this, which is good news. I really think this is like really light, uh, very pretty. Uh, and this is going to be for people, I mean, the crowd would be, the ladies would be very young ladies. Definitely from 16 all the way to your 30s, I think it fits the bill perfectly. It's for people, uh, ladies, not people. It's for ladies who are looking to date, who are free, going for flings, uh, flirting around, having a lot of uh, what you call cocktails. And uh, you can actually see like this is like a clubbing scent. And it, it's extremely long lasting. For me, for this small, small sprayers, what I get is I get long, long, <laughs> good performance of it. I think you can wear this definitely in the summer nights um, while going out, uh, but I think it would be perfect for the colder weather. Um, dress it up. I think if you're wearing your fancy dress and nice high heels and stuff, I think it will go nicely with that. Um, and it, it actually is pretty flirty. If you sniff it, it's not that serious. You know, many of the fragrances, they're traditional, like sort of serious fragrances. is not that. It's, it's more of your, um, you know, fun, fun time. So whole commercial, what actually it shows basically that's the fragrance that it represents. It's not mind-blowing. I wouldn't say it's a mind-blowing. For the smell, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Very nice smell, but I have more fragrance that I really enjoy than this. But that blackberry note is absolutely, it's a stunning, stunning uh, fruity note on that. I love that. But the opening doesn't stay for that long. After half an hour, the blackberry is gone, then florals and musk basically. And you do get a slight bit of patchouli in it, a slight bit of darkness, which makes it perfect evening wear. If you want to go darker, same brand, you just go black opium, all right? This stuff is dark. Okay, it has that coffee note as well. It's it's well loved. It's one of the top 10 fragrances all the time uh, throughout the year, okay? So this fragrance, uh, so let's say longevity, I would give this like pretty good 8.5 out of 10. Projection, it projects very nicely. And I think you need uh, on a big spray, I don't know about the sprayer of this bottle, but uh, uh, I would say go like two to three sprays not more than that because florals it can definitely you know cause headache and spray a little bit from far so you catch like a big burst of a fragrance on a like a bigger place you know like a bigger area of your neck so i think it's this area would be perfect get some on your dress or a scarf perfect maybe some on your arms like this i love when the girls do that you know so that would be perfect um time to wear it night time perfect going out clubbing uh hanging out with your girls uh date perfect if you're going for close encounters guys would take this uh versatility i think you can wear this this kind this is light enough to wear in the summer but i think it has a patchouli backbone to it i think you can also pull it off in the winter nights but uh not extreme cold i don't think so um, age for it young young girls would love this stuff okay this is not that uh serious and uh Smell, as I told you what I get, I gave it like very high mark, but overall for this, I'll give this uh, for what it is, for the smell, for the performance, for everything else, I will give this 8 out of 10. So is it bottle worthy? Uh, it depends. Definitely try it out. This is a bit sweet and it's very obviously sweet, fruity floral fragrance. So do check it out if you're interested in Mon Perry. And I think uh, this, is, this is kind of pretty fragrance, but it's not groundbreaking like Shalimar or your, um, I don't know, something that is groundbreaking, I guess. So yes, check this out. I think you might enjoy wearing this if you're a lady and if you're looking to gift it to your lady and you guys are young, couple, this would work for you. Take care, guys. Wait for the Narciso Rodriguez for him, EDT, review. That's coming up soon. Bye-bye.